here we have uh, a large uh, country rock block that is intruded by this uh, kimberlite type rock and again the color is typical it's very characteristic with a bluish kind of sheen and uh, this is very um, fine grained it's almost a ferric it doesn't have any large minerals but the block right next to it over here that has large micas, large uh, biotites, and uh, also a little bit of flocopite. And uh, then we have some calcite next to it. So this is a um, component of calcite, of, of carbonatite in this plutonic silicate alkali rock. And there's pyroxene here as well. That's the prismatic one. But these biotites are just beautiful. They have six sites and uh, they're well developed. So, and they're rather fresh. So gorgeous rock and this is rather typical for the alkaline silicates on Alno. The Alnoite has also these large crystals of biotite and phlogopite and uh, this is a beautiful example of that. So why don't we just come over here because here we have a mixed carbonatite silicate rock again and this time we have very large pyroxenes and uh, medium grained calcite here. So here we have large concentrations of pyroxene and I'm gonna do a little test to see if it's magnetic if there's any magnetite in there but no it is dominantly pyroxene no magnetic phase in there I think all the iron minerals were loaded on ships here on the jetty and were transported away for smeltering rather than left behind